Massive, massive black drum, you guys. Nice fish, gonna go ahead and let it go. Send it on back. Oh, y'all, we are hooked up. We found some tailing black drum over here. And uh, as you guys can see, things are pretty bent right now. He's a pretty hefty fella. Found him tailing over here on these oyster bars out here. Behind these islands, wind protected islands out here. We were using the kicker crab, throwing that in front of these guys, and that was the ticket. It can be tough to get these guys to bite on artificial, but if you add a little bit of extra juice, um, and by juice I mean scent, if you have some scent, that can really help with black drum. They use their olfactory senses, which is kind of like their nose their smell and that's how oh god he's taking me for a run but as I was saying if you use some scent it can often help you target these fish dead sticking gulp is even a great way if you have a weedless gulp uh, rigged up and throw that in an area where they're gonna be or where they're moving around at they'll often just come and cruise and pick it up themselves it's hard to really catch them working a lure in front of them however it can be done as you guys can see here hopefully we'll get this 30 pounder or so landed here in a second on power pole down here hopefully i can keep them in front of the boat so since black drum use their olfactory senses a lot and feed off of smell it can definitely help to use something with some scent or even dead shrimp the stinkier the better even can be a great way to target these fish throwing that dead shrimp out there in an area where you know where they're at uh, just kind of letting them find it on their own is a really great way to pick these fish up but again uh, if you're going to use artificial Typically, adding scent can be uh, a great way to go uh, or just using something with scent in general. So whether that scent be Procure, Dr. Juice, Ensure Slam scent, uh, anything like that is great, but anything with scent is gonna be super helpful for you. But as I said, I am using a kicker crab today. I see black drum on an oyster bar. I know they're often looking for those crab. One of their natural forage baits that they like to eat and go after. So just a really great presentation to run along those oyster bars with that Texas side jig head. Great way to stay weedless going along those oyster bars because you don't want to get hung up. I'm gonna go ahead and land this big fella and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, kind of the places you can expect to find these fish whoa this sucker's huge oh my god y'all i can barely hold this fish up massive black drum i'm covered in slime go ahead and release this guy we'll talk about uh how you can target these guys a little bit better all right y'all now that i've jumped out of the wind a little bit let's talk about the areas you can tend to find a lot of those black drum when we have uh, a transition into those warmer periods typically those black drum will often push up into the shallows even around areas where there's uh some shell bar or even uh, oyster mounds or even just shell bottom because they often feed on those crustaceans and those crabs in those types of areas a great and easy way to find those areas is by using the oyster bar layer in our smart fishing spots app if you guys aren't familiar with that you can definitely download it on either the apple store or google play store it's on all platforms now in the app store so you can actually get on your phone and find out where oyster bars in any given area that's super helpful when you're looking to target fish specifically black drum and help you improve your chances of success if you guys want some more information about the app specifically we'll be sure to link a video for that but if you guys want more information about catching more inshore fish make sure you check out that video that we've linked otherwise we'll see you guys in the next video